Hello, good evening, everyone. What are you going to teach? Hey, hello, Isidro. Hello, Julio. Hello, Jonathan. Magdalena, welcome to the class. How are you today? How are you today? Hello, teacher. How are you? Nice to see you again. Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. The weekend was pretty good with the family um, watching TV, uh, about zombie movies. Ah, okay. You did a lot of interesting things. Very good. You enjoyed like your yeah. weekend. Very good. Yes, sir. Okay, that was excellent then. Uh, what about you, Julio? How was your weekend? Tell me, how was your weekend? Hello, hello. How was your weekend? Tell me. This is the question. Let me show you the question. Second, this is the question. I'm going to write down here for you. So it's how, how was, how was your weekend? How was your weekend? It means, ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? So the answer is this, it, it. So you say it was good, answer it, it was good, it was good. It was excellent. It was excellent. Y si estuvo el fin de semana muy ocupado, you say, it was busy. It was busy. Si no fue un fin de semana, you say, it was awful. It was awful. So this is, this is the way to answer this question. How was your weekend? Now tell me, Magdalena, good evening. Welcome to the class. How was your weekend? Hi, good evening. It was good. I didn't do anything interesting, just rest. Ah, okay, but that was that was good, right? You rested yes. a lot. You rested yeah. a lot. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Any other volunteer to answer this question? How was your weekend? Any volunteer? Hello, teacher. Hello, Good Luis. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How was your weekend, Luis? It was busy, a lot of busy because it was working. I'm so sorry to hear that, right? You had to work. Yeah. Okay, very good. So, any other volunteer? How was your weekend? Tell me. How was your weekend? Well, let's change the question. How are you today? Luis, how do you feel today? I feel very well. Okay, excellent. So, Mario Renato, how are you tonight? I'm fine, fine. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So, let's see. Today, we're going to start studying the section number four. The section number four is about simple past tense. Uh, what happened in the past, right? A simple past tense when we talk about activities or actions that happened in the past. And today we're going to start studying the regular verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs. We have regular and also irregular verbs. So do you know what is the difference be between regular and irregular verbs? Do you have any idea? I think the irregular verbs, uh, you need to put another, uh, when the, at the end, finish with ba, vowel. You finish with or vowel. Consonant. Ah, okay. Consonant. Okay, you have an idea, very good. So let's see, the difference is in the way they made the past tense. Regular verb follow some rules to make the simple past tense, but irregular verb, they don't have any rule. Every verb has its own form. Cada verbo tiene su propia forma en el pasado. 
So let's start studying this tonight. Here we go. So here is the presentation. The topic for tonight is simple pass using regular verbs. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, I'm sharing the presentation with you. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Can you already see my screen? I'll say yes, if you can see my screen, please. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes teacher, we can see it. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So simple pass, regular verbs. That is the topic. Let's start with this small conversation here. So it says, hi, Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. I feel a little tired today. Really, why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all weekend. So can you identify some bears? Good evening, everybody. Hello, Felipe, welcome to the class. Can you identify some regular birds in this conversation? Good evening, oh. Felipe. Watch. Okay, watch is one, excellent. Yes, you are right, watch is one. Let me see, so I say the I study, study. Watch is one, study is another one. Very good, this is another regular Clean. verb. Cleaned, yes, yes. cleaned. Shop. It's another regular verb. Shop is a regular verb too, excellent. Visited. Visited. Let's see. Yes, you're right to visit it. It's a regular bird. Excited. Exercise. Excellent. Exercise. Okay. Any other? Okay, they are regular bears. So let's listen to this smart conversation. Pay attention to the pronunciation of every bird. So here we go. Just a second. This is not a correct option. Is this okay? Tired teacher. Can you listen? Hello, welcome to the class. Can you listen? Let me know if you can listen. Hi, Jennifer. Could you listen the audio? Yes. 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 Okay, thank yeah. you. So here we go. Listen, pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, so uh, do you want to listen again? And then we're going to practice this conversation. So here we go, listen again. This is a small conversation, right? So pay attention to the intonation and also the pronunciation. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay. Can you tell me what is the conversation about? 
What is this conversation about? Do you have an idea? Share with us, please. What happened with Michael and Jennifer? What did Jennifer, what did Jennifer do on the weekend? Just give pass. Okay, it's about the past activities. Yeah. Okay, excellent. It's about the past, right? What did they do during the weekend? Excellent. So it says Jennifer exercised, cleaned, shopped, did laundry. And what about Michael? What did he what did he do? What did he do on the weekend? Just watch television. Oh, he just watched watch television. He has watched television. Uh, what is the problem at the end of the conversation? What is Michael worried about? What is he worried? He said, oh no, do we have a test today? He no, no student. Okay, he didn't study. He didn't, he didn't study for the test. Okay. He didn't study for the test. ¿Les ha pasado alguna vez? Tenían evaluación y no se acordaron. No. Every no. time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Always you say, okay. Okay. Um, that happened, right? That happened sometimes. Sometimes happen. We forget about things like that. So I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who want to practice this? To have a good start of the Monday of the week. Today is Monday, I know. You don't want to participate today. I know that it's Monday, but may an effort, please. You can do it, I'm sure. I need two volunteers in this conversation. I got it. Thank you, Felipe. Uh, any other volunteer who wants to help me? Anybody tonight? Come on. And me. Thank you, Julio. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your help. Uh, Julio, can you please start? You're going to be Michael and Felipe. You are going to say the lines for Jennifer. Can you please start? Okay. Hi, Felipe. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and cleaner did laundry and shop. And then I visit my parents. So, what did you, you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? Uh, I did, didn't study. I just watched television uh, all weekend. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. That was excellent. Very good. Thank you. So how to make sentences in simple pass? It's easy, look at this, simple past tense. So we are going to need a subject in the verb in simple past, right? We add ed to the, to the verb, to the regular verb, and we are going to have this example. So look at this, I studied on Sunday, simple past. So here is the subject, the verb in simple past, and the complement, you watch, you watch television, she stayed, she stayed at home. We shopped for the groceries. They exercised on Saturday. So here are the verbs, right? The regular verbs, look at this. Watch, watched, study, watched. watch, watched, study, studied. Exercise, exercise, stay, stayed, shop, shopped. Okay. If you want to say that something didn't happen, so we use the auxiliary didn't. I didn't study on Saturday. Yo no estudié. 
So look at this. In the negative sentences, is the auxiliary which is in past. In present, we say don't. I don't study. In past, we are going to say I didn't. I didn't study on Saturday. You didn't watch a movie. She didn't stay out. We didn't shop for clothes. They didn't exercise on Sunday. So look at the verb. Pay attention to the verb. Uh, here, the verb is without any, let's see, conjunction right there. No está conjugado, ¿verdad? It's not conjugate. So I didn't study on Saturday. I didn't study on Saturday. El verbo está en su forma normal, ¿verdad? El pasado está en el auxiliar. I didn't. You didn't. She didn't. We didn't. They didn't. Okay. So let's continue learning about this. Simple password of verb rules. ¿Cómo vamos a agregarle esa idea a los verbos regulares? Se siguen algunas reglas para hacer eso. Y el día de hoy las vamos a aprender. So rule number one. Regular past simple tense is for by adding ed to the verb. El pasado simple de estos verbos está formado uh, por el verbo más ed, ¿verdad? más la palabra ed, que le agregamos, la terminación ed, que le agregamos a los verbos. Por ejemplo, laugh, que es el verbo reír, en pasado, laughed, wash, el verbo wash, washed, washed, start, Start, started, called, called, listen, listened. So we add this ed to the birds to make the past. So laugh is the bird. Para decirlo en pasado, le agregamos ed. Wash es el verbo y aquí está la terminación ed. <coughs> Lavar, lavé, lavó. Start, started, called. Cold. Listen, listened. So we add ed. A la mayoría de los verbos vamos a agregarles ed. So let's see rule number two. If the verbs end in e, you just add d. En el caso que los verbos regulares terminen en una e, we are going to add just d. So light. El verbo like termina en una e. Entonces, simplemente agregamos la de verb. Agree. Termina en E también. Entonces, solo vamos a agregar una de bake. El verbo hornear. So, we are going to add the escape. 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 Solo agregamos la de verb, ya que terminan en E. So, don't forget about this, right? Rule number two, if the verb end in E, you just add D. Si el verbo termina en una E, solo agregamos D. Let's see the following rule. If a verb end in a consonant plus Y, si un verbo termina en una consonante más Y, you take off the white and add I, E, D. Quitamos esa Y, ¿verdad? We take off the white and we're going to add I, E, D. In this case, we have this example in this case. Carry. El verbo llevar, cargar, carry. Carry. So, vamos a eliminar la Y y hagamos I, E, D at the end of the verb. The next example is tried. Right. We, we take off the Y and we add I, E, D. So we tried. Fry, el verbo freír, fry. Fried, fried. Después, el mismo caso aplica con el verbo cry, pero termina en una consonante más Y. Elimino la Y y agrego I, E, D al verbo. Ya está en simple. Simple past. Simple past, very good. So let's see, here is rule number four and rule number five. If a verse in, in a vowel plus Y, you just add ED. Si el verbo termina en una vocal, la regla anterior decía una consonante. En este caso es una vocal más Y. Entonces solo agregamos ED. Look at this, play, for example, the verb play. 
termina. Play. Play termina en una vocal, ¿verdad? It is a vowel plus Y. So, simplemente agregamos y di. Prayed. Prayed. Orar. Prayed. Termina en lo mismo, ¿verdad? Vocal Y. Entonces, agregamos simplemente ed. Enjoy. It's another example. Termina en una vocal acá más Y. Entonces, solo agregamos ed. Delayed. Retrasarse. Delayed. Igual, el mismo caso. ¿no? Bowelt en en why we just add ed. So, is it clear? Do you have any question about rule number one, rule number two, three, four? Any question until the moment? Questions? No questions? No, no question. question. Okay, we're going to have an exercise after rule number five. And rule number five says when a one syllable bears ends in vowel plus consonant, double the consonant before adding ed. Cuando el verbo de una sílaba termina en esta combinación. Yes. Eh, no sé si solamente yo tengo este. ¿Será que solo yo tengo el problema que me desconecte y me conecte el Inter o todos lo tenemos? Es tu ancho de banda, Isidro. Te lo dice en la pantalla. ¿Será? Porque me está sí. desconectando y me está conectando, pero estoy bien así pausado, teacher. I'm sorry. Ok, it must be your internet connection, right? Anyone that has the same problem? Do you no. Have, no, no, ah, okay, I'm sorry, then probably is your internet connection, right? It is not working tonight. Sí, sí, este día. It is, I'm sorry, Isidro. Page internet. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> then let's go with the last rule, right? Is, si los verbos terminan en esta combinación, look at this, consonant, vowel in consonant, los verbos de una sílaba ¿verdad? que terminan en esa combinación. Vocal, consonante, vocal. We are going to duplicate or we are going to double the last consonant. So the case of stop, stopped. Tenemos que duplicar la última consonante. Plan, planned. Hop, hopped. And back, begged. Back. So we have to duplicate or double this, right? The consonant. So. <laughs> what happened? Do you have a question? What? Hello, questions? Ah, no questions. Then let's practice. So look at this, look at this sentence. We watch a movie last night look at this is the bird acá está el verbo que tengo que agregarle ed d o i e d ed 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 okay watch. let's let's see your right we're going to see it in a second watch yes we are going to add watch. ed ed watched uh, Sam, the computer an hour ago, the verb is use. We are going to add ED, D or I, ED to the verb yes, use. D. 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 Or D. D. Or D. D. You say just D. D. What is the reason? Just D. 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 Yeah. Only D. Yes. yes, you're right. Sam used the computer an hour because ago. Because the word end in with a letter E. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Isidro. That's the reason. Uh, yesterday, mom baked Bake. a cake. I need Bake. to add ED, D, or I, E, D. D. Just D. Letter D. Okay, just again, D. just D. Baked. 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 Uh, who chopped the wood upside? Chop. E, D. 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 E, D.
and D. Okay, it, it's double consonant. Double consonant plus ed. Very good. Chopped. 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 E -D. E -D. E -D. Yes, e -D. E -D. yes, E D. Yes, E D. And the next, Ooh. and the last one. It cried the whole night. Right. Right. E D. E -E -D. E -E -D. Are you sure? Right. E -E -D. Yeah. white for a I D. I E D. Okay, we're going to take off. We're going to take off Y because it's ending consonant plus Y. So Y I D. In Y I I D. So Y I E D. Sorry. I I D. I I E D. I E D. Right. Right. I E D. I E D. Very good. So now let's see. Esto tiene. Tres pronunciaciones diferentes. So, look at this. Algunos verbos terminan en T sound y otros terminan en D sound y en otros terminan en E sound. Word. Clean. Clean. Invited. So, so, look at this example. Pay attention to the pronunciation of these examples. So, we have the ED. Se pronuncia en tres diferentes maneras, con sonido de T, D, and IT. So we are going to listen these examples. Pay attention. These verbs end in... Yeah. Can you listen the audio? Tell me, please. Yes. Can you listen? Yes. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I listen. These oh. verbs end in T. Worked. Watched. Watch. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Now try to pronounce this sound. The sound is t. Sound. T. Sound. T. Sound. T. T. El siguiente sonido es d. D. Work. Sound. Work. Y el siguiente sonido es it, sound it. Now it. Try, try to pronounce this verb, worked, watched, worked, watched, cleaned, cleaned, stayed, stayed, invited, visited. So, so how to know, how to know when we are going to pronounce the sound when we're going to use the sound and when we're going to use the sound it so we are going to learn that tonight too so yes these verbs end in t worked watched what these verbs end in d cleaned stayed these verbs end in id invited Visited. 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 Okay, now look at this small paragraph. We are going to try to read this correctly. So it says, last weekend I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I go there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted <clears throat> great. The first one, last weekend I walked. Which is the sound? T, D, or E? D. Walked. Walked. The sound is walked. It sound T. Sound T, D, or E? D. Tell me. Last weekend I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. 
after dinner, the waiter handing, handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. So now look at this. In the verb walk, plus ed, it will sound like a T sound. So we say walked. 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 Glanced. 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 A ride plus ed, a ride. A ride. Order plus ed, we say ordered. Ordered. Hand, handed. Taste, tasted. Taste it. Taste it. Any volunteer to try uh, to pronounce these words correctly? Who wants to try? Any volunteer? Try it. It's walked, glanced, arrived, ordered, handed, tasted. Do you have any new vocabulary in this small paragraph? Let me know, please, if there is a word that you don't know. Last weekend, what is the meaning of that expression? Last weekend? Last weekend? What is the meaning of that phrase? Last weekend? ED. ED. Mm. Now, what is the meaning in Spanish of the expression last weekend? Before today. Before today? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Before today. It was, no, no. Caminar, cam la semana pasada el, caminé a mi el, restaurante favorito. It is not the semana pasada, it is the last weekend. What, what is caminé, weekend? Caminé a mi restaurante. It's the semana. La okay, semana. thank you, Magdalena. So, last weekend, el fin de semana pasado, ¿verdad? I walked to my favorite restaurant. What is the meaning of that sentence? I walked to my favorite restaurant. Yo caminé. Ok, yo caminé. caminé. Hacia, ¿Hacia dónde? To my favorite restaurant. A mi, a mi restaurante favorito. Ok, excelente. So, when I got there, I glanced through the menu. What is the meaning of this? When I got there, I glanced through the menu. Glant es darle una mirada rápida a algo. That is glant. Yo um, vi, ¿verdad? Revisé el menú rápidamente. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. El mesero llegó y yo ordené un... What is a stick? Filete. Ok, un filete de res. But after dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. Después de cenar, el mesero me entregó la, la, cuenta. la cuenta. I left happy. Me fui feliz because oh. my meal tasted great. ¿Cómo estuvo la comida? ¿Qué sabor tenía? Tasted great. Okay. Estaba deliciosa. My meal tasted great. So, let's see. ¿Cómo sabía saber? Bien, sabía genial. Yes. Estaba deliciosa. So, ¿Cómo vamos a saber cuándo pronunciar T sound, D sound, or it? So, we, I have this to help you. So, how I'm going to pronounce E, D sound? Look at this. It, we're going to use the sound up to the If the first end in a T or D sound, use it ending. Examples, want. We are going to say in past, wanted. Porque termina en una T, ¿verdad? Si los verbos terminan en T o D, en el sonido de estas consonantes, vamos a usar el sonido it. Por ejemplo, want, 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 need, need, it, need it. Any of the verb that end in this boiler sound. So look at this. Estos sonidos, ¿verdad? Sonido de P, de K, de F, S, S, H, C, H, or T, H. Todos estos sonidos, cuando los pronunciamos, no hay vibración en nuestras cuerdas vocales. Por eso se llaman voiceless. Voiceless significa que no hay una vibración, ¿verdad? Cuando pronunciamos estos sonidos de No hay vibración, ¿verdad? 
Y entonces con estos sonidos que no producen una vibración, son voiceless, voiceless sound. Con ellos oh, vamos oh, a utilizar el sonido de T. Help, 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 wash, wash, wash. Y con los sonidos que son voiced, que sí producen una vibración en nuestra garganta, en nuestra cuerda vocal, oh. cuando las pronunciamos vamos a utilizar D. Y acá están los sonidos, el M, N, J, R, G, V, B, W, N, Z. So, call, por ejemplo, si call, call. Entonces, oh. para pronunciar el pasado, es cold, cold. Oh. Play, play, played, played. Do you have any question about this? Do you have any question? No questions? In the room. In which one? No questions? Okay, then let's continue then. Let's go with this. Can any volunteer to try to read correctly the first sentence? Any volunteer? What is the right pronunciation of the first? But, okay, yes. I use a I use car. I use, I, use I, okay. I, I need it. a sweater. I need it. Yes. A sweater. The next one. one. Cushion. The bottom. Cushion. Bottom. The bottom. The bottom. The bottom. Number four. I started. Okay. The okay. Excellent. So the first one I used. I needed a sweater. A sweater. He, pushed, he pushed. He pushed the button. Pushed the button. I, I studied for the I test. I studied for the test. I studied for the test. Uh, can you read it again, the number four, please? He pushed the button. Pushed. 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 With this sound, he pushed the button. Él presionó el botón. I studied for the test. Very good. So the first one is with this sound. The next one is with it sound, needed. A push is with this sound, pushed. Studied is with it sound. Any question? Do you have any question? Can you read it the first one, please? I used a scarf. I used a scarf. Any other question? The sound is with the letter D. Yes, I used a scarf. Thank you. Any question? Let's continue then. Here we go. Give me a second. Let's take off this. Okay, we need to use the following structure to make sentences in simple pass. So this is the structure we are going to use to make sentences in simple pass. Right? So we need a subject, the verb in the past tense, plus a complement. And we have a sentence. Look at this. I studied on Sunday. You watched television. She stayed at home. We shopped for the groceries. They exercised on Saturday. So in the sentence, she stayed at home. What is the subject? What is the subject in the sentence? She stayed at home. Stay. Okay. Uh, is it a stay this the subject? No. No, no she, not she, really. She, she, ah, she, 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 she is the subject. Yeah. Very good. And the verb? She. 
The verb is stayed. 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 Mm -hmm. In the complement, it's at, at, at home. home. At, at home. home. Very good. So affirmative sentences. For affirmative sentences, we are going to use this structure. Don't forget about this. Subject, very in the past tense, plus complement. Plus complement. Any, any volunteer to read the examples, please? If not, I'm going to pick someone. Let's see. Jacqueline, do you have a question? I volunteer for the ah, reading. You're a volunteer. Thank you very much. Yes. So read um, it, please. You can start. You watch it, the television? Mm, all of them, please. All of them. Jacqueline, please. Uh, I studied I studied on Sunday. You watch it, television. She stayed at home. We shopped for groceries. I don't know if I pronounce. It's okay. Groceries. It's uh, okay. Groceries. Uh -huh. They exercise on Saturday. Thank you very much. Very good try. Thank you, Jacqueline. That was a very good job. So, in this case, we don't say watch it. We say watched. Watched. With T sound. In lugar de decir E, B, en este, como termina en CH, ¿vale? después de este sonido, Vamos a utilizar sonido de T. Entonces no leemos esta ED, la pronunciamos como una T. Watched. Watched. En el caso de stayed, stayed. Stayed. Con sonido de D, pero no decimos stayed. 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 Shopped. With this sound. Shopped. Shopped. Ok, thank you. Thank you very much. Any other volunteer? Then I'm gonna choose someone. Luis, can you help me please? Hello, Luis, are you there? Is Luis here? Yes, uh, I, uh, okay. I, on Sunday, you watch television? She stayed at home. We shopped. We shopped. We shopped for groceries. They exercised. Exercised on on Saturday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Just the shop. You say shopped. Shopped. Shop. Shop. Shopped. Okay. Shop. Excellent. Very good. So don't forget about the structure. Subject, very in simple past tense, class complement. Now let's see. We're going to have this practice. Use the verb in the box to complete the following sentences and try to pronounce it correctly. What is number one? They leave the cruise. They enjoy the cruise. They stop the cruise. They jump the cruise or they stay the cruise. Which one do you think is a right bear to complete that sentence? They Eight. enjoy the cruise. They, they okay. stay the cruise. Let's see if you're right. Yes. Yeah. Is it with T sound, D sound, or E sound? E D D sound I, right. They enjoyed the cruise. Enjoy yeah, the cruise. What about the second one? The yeah. car stopped. Stopped at the light. Excellent. Very good. That is the word. Stopped. The car stopped at the light. Perfect. The next one, the next one, number three, the frog, very high. The frog jumped. The frog jumped. Jumped. Okay, what I need, 
to make jump in simple past tense? Jump double P E D. Oh, you say I'm going to double P and I'm going to add E D. E -D. Let's see if you're you right. Jumped very high. Uh, um, ah. You have to add E D, just E D. Porque la, la terminación eh, no es, ¿verdad? No es consonante, vocal consonante. Tenemos una vocal y dos consonantes. Mm -hmm. no, no aplica la regla. Entonces agregamos simplemente e e e Jump. Jump. Now the pronunciation is with T sound, T sound, or it sound. Jump. The next one, Rose. Stay Stay home alone. Okay, Rose stayed stay home alone. And the last one. She lived she from a long, long, long time ago. He lived in from a long time ago. He lived in from a long time ago. With this sound. Right? Como el verbo live termina en E, solo agregamos D. Live in from a long time ago. ¿Recuerdan la película Home Alone? Do you remember that movie? Yes. Yes. In Spanish, the name in Spanish is which one? Pobre Angelito, algo así. Oh, yes, you're right. Mi pobre Angelito, Angelito. Ah. It's one of the favorite Christmas movies. Yes. Home yes. Alone. Okay, nice. Let's go with the next thing. How to make negative sentences. <laughs> Making negative sentences. We need to use the following structure to make negative sentences in simple past. Para hacer oraciones negativas, para decir que algo no sucedió en el pasado, vamos a utilizar didn't. Y vamos a utilizar the following structure. We are going to need this structure to make negative sentences. Subject. The auxiliary did plus not contractado is didn't. Didn't. The verb in present. El verbo en presente, ¿verdad? Y plus complement. Y un complemento. So, ya no necesitamos el verbo en pasado simple. Lo vamos a escribir en presente. Ya el pasado okay. va en el auxiliar. I didn't study on Sunday. You didn't watch television. She didn't stay at home. We didn't shop for groceries. They didn't exercise on Saturday. So any volunteer to read these examples? Any volunteer? I'm going to choose someone. Uh, let's see. Alpha, can you help me, please? OK, no problem. Anyone okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Morena. I didn't student on Sunday. You didn't watch television. I she didn't stay at home. We didn't show for go grocery. They didn't exercise exer exer on Saturday. Thank you very much. So exercise. Exercise. They didn't exercise on Saturday. Very good. Thank you. Saturday. Thank you. Much better now. Uh, Alpha, are you ready? Yes. You can start, please. I didn't study on Sunday. You didn't, you didn't watch television. She didn't stay at home. We didn't shop for groceries. They didn't exercise on Saturday. Excellent, thank you. That was perfect, thank you. I didn't study on Sunday. You didn't watch didn't television. Watch television. She, she didn't, didn't stay at stay home. Done. We didn't shop for groceries. They didn't exercise on Saturday. Sorry. Perfect. In the sentence number four, which is the subject? So we, we. We, we. we is the subject. Very good. And the verb? 
What is the verb? Shop. 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 You're right. So Shop. let's let's practice in this. Practice. Yeah, I have here some work, so you have to order. You have to scramble this work and oh. make a sentence. Tell me, what is the right sentence? I didn't help my sister. Okay, I didn't help my sister. What is the meaning in Spanish? I didn't help my sister. No, ayude a mi hermana. Yes, you're right. Qué mala onda, wey. I didn't help my sister. <laughs> Let, let's go with the second one. I have the word car, he, wash, didn't, this. He didn't, he didn't wash this car. Didn't his car. He didn't car. wash this car. He didn't wash. He didn't wash. He didn't wash his car. Yes, you're right. He didn't uh -huh. wash his car. Let's see the next he one. He didn't wash his car. Yesterday, golf, he didn't and play. He didn't play golf yesterday. We didn't. We didn't we play golf didn't yesterday. Play yesterday. Yes, golf you're right. We didn't, we didn't play golf. No, we golf ayer. Okay, excellent. Let's see the next one. I have the word two plants, a trip, Mexico, the boys. The boys. The boys. The boys. The boys. The boys, boys planning a trip to, to Mexico. Me Excellent. The boys planned a trip to Mexico. Los chicos planearon un viaje a México. Yes, you're right. Thank you. So the verb planned is with T sound, D sound, or it sound. D, D, D sound, right? Planned a trip to Mexico. Let's see number five. Dance. Peter, Susan, with Walt's day. Peter, Susan, no, Peter with Susan. Teacher, what yes. does Walt? Peter dance. Walt is el vals. Vals, vals, vals. Peter with Susan was the dance. Peter dance, Walt's on the the waltz with Susan. Yes, you are right. Peter danced the waltz with Susan. Bien. ¿Se acuerdan con quién bailaron el vals de los 15? No me cuento. Let's go with the next one. I have here the answer. So the first one is I didn't help my sister. The second one, he didn't wash his car. The third one, we didn't play golf yesterday. Number four, the boys planned a trip to Mexico. And the last one, Peter danced the waltz with Susan. Susan. So do you have any question about today's class? Questions? No questions. Thank you. Teacher, yo creería que no, no hay preguntas. Más que todo lo que necesitamos es tiempo para, para volver a repasarlas y y estarlas practicando, ¿no? Pero más que todo creo que es repaso. We need to eh, repasar, make a review. Okay. We need to practice a lot, right? We need to practice a lot. This we need to practice because a lot. it's a little bit difficult, right? Uh, to identify yes. or to produce the sound, but um, practicing, right? If you practice a lot, you are going to get better soon. So we yes. still have time, so we're going to have practice. Can you tell me some sentences using regular birds? I'm going to give you the birds and you are going to tell me. Just a second. Just a second. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The next, can you tell me a sentence using this word danced in fast? Who has a sentence? Using dance. 
I danced. I danced on weekend. Okay. The last weekend. Okay, excellent sentence. I danced last. Last, last week. weekend. Danced last weekend. Last weekend. Okay, what about this other bird? Uh, let's see. Talk. Talk. It's another regular bird. I talked to the church yesterday. Okay. I, I told. I, I told. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm oh, sorry. Told. Yes, yes. Sorry. I talked in the park. Okay. I talked in the park. In the I, park. I talked with my oh, sister yeah. uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. I told with my oh, sister. Oh, oh, oh. Yesterday. yesterday perfect perfect sentence very good i'm sorry i'm sorry yesterday ah, okay i can see it today you are uh, let's see you were quiet today isidro it's yeah, happening something, something? Yes. what's what's wrong ah uh, mm, many travels in the oh. US. Ah, okay the next one is cold cold an example. Tell me an example. Cold. Cold. I called my brother yesterday. Okay, excellent. I called my bro. Okay, brother yesterday. Perfect sentence. Perfect sentence. The next is the bird. Let's see. Clean. Cleaned. Clean. 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 My wife cleaned all the house yesterday. Okay, excellent. My example, wife example, to say cleaned what? the house. The house yesterday. Yesterday. Perfect sentence. Thank you. My wife cleaned it. Aquí hace falta el pasado. Clean. 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 clean the house yesterday. Clean. Then the next bird is let's see played. 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 That is the bird. Played. Played. I played a soccer game yesterday. Ah, okay, excellent. I played a soccer game yesterday. By the way, did you watch this national team soccer match? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 We won, right? We won. Yes. We won. We could do it. I played a soccer game yesterday. Very good. Let's see another bird. Escape. 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 Any sentence? I is I ah uh, okay. me and my, my wife escaped out yesterday. Okay, me and my wife escaped. You say my wife and me. My wife and me. My wife. <laughs> Escape. Okay. Ladies first. Okay. 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 Escaped from my wife. Um, by me escaped my yesterday. Wow, yesterday. Okay. Very good. Now let's see. Um, another bear is ask. 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 This asked. Asked. Teacher, in esa, in esa eh, the escape, no sería my wife, I. No, my it's wife me. My me. wife and me. Me. Why? In this case, we use the object pronouns. Ah, okay. Mi esposa y yo, my wife and me, escape from home yesterday. 
Yeah. Okay, thank you. Ask is the other verb. Ask is preguntar. I ask. I ask. I ask. I ask my boss about the pay. <clears throat> okay, my boss too. Okay, I ask my boss about to increase my salary. Increase is uh, what does increase mean, teacher? It's como aumentar, right? I asked my boss about. <laughs> oh, sorry. About is with T, right? About, <laughs> about. I made a mistake uh -huh. here. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Diden, Diden. Con Diden, no se les olvide la siguiente estructura, ¿verdad? Para decir una oración en pasado, yo digo, I didn't. I didn't. ¿Qué no hicieron ayer? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't study yesterday. I didn't work. I didn't fix. Okay, excellent. I didn't work. I didn't study. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. Study. I didn't I didn't sleep. No. I didn't sleep. Pero sleep I, I es un verbo irregular. Pero está bien. La verdad es I didn't sleep. I didn't rest. I didn't clean. I didn't rest. I didn't rest. I didn't clean. I didn't clean. <laughs> I didn't clean. ¿Qué es lo que más hace? <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Así hacemos las I oraciones. Did, I didn't watch. I didn't watch TV yesterday. Really? I didn't watch yeah. TV. TV. I didn't watch TV. Se, se perdió la novela. Okay. Good. <laughs> Do you have any question? I... No. No question. Okay. Pero, no question. Okay. Uh, on the group, I'm going to share with you a bear list. Les voy a mandar una lista de verbos para que ustedes la puedan estudiar. There are a lot of, uh, a lot of regular verbs. And also okay. a lot of irregular birds. Tomorrow we are going to study some irregular birds. So thank you very much for being here with me. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your questions. Thanks a lot. Right? Um, tomorrow we are going to continue studying the simple past tense. So have a good night. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Bye bye for now. Good night. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.